Government of Australia, representative of the Government of New Zealand, ladies and gentlemen, our partners, UN representatives, Elma from the Fiji Crisis Centre in Fiji. Elma? Yes. Wilma. Yeah. Elma. It gives me great pleasure to be given an opportunity to stand in front of you and to deliver a very small remarks tonight in regard to this occasion. I cannot say much or more than what has been explained in the speech of my executive director. She is, is not, she's no longer a coordinator. Executive Director, Ms. Teresa. Yes, I was sitting there listening and I was, my feeling was, I was so happy because I know that the, the project is quite very new to Kifa and we have taken a journey of four years to try and to nature the development of this centre. At this point, I would like to ask you to give a round of applause to one of my staff, very dedicated and very committed. He has filled this outside gender-based violence. This is my technical staff, a lab technician, Mr. Rode Tapia. started this project is what I was uh, to me looking back and reflecting back on the four years of journey in trying to come today and it took a lot of a lot of effort com com complications and a lot of challenges we started off with one coordinator who was going to help us to develop this Center. Unfortunately, she left only five or six months when she first started. So I have no choice, but I have to explore my own resources. What can I do? And I try to negotiate and discuss, but I know the capacities of my staff. So I call on Zero and I said, can you take on this task? Be with me and let's work together to ensure we have the center today. So it's quite a long journey of four years. In, it's, it's like swimming in an open, open sea, not knowing where to go. But with the support, and I would like to acknowledge that we have someone from the Fiji Crisis Center here. Because she, they were, one of their representatives was here with us with Kiva to support us to introduce the concept of GBB program and of the center. And in the workshop, we had a lot of participants, but mainly they were my staff and my board directors. So in the four years, because of that training and the workshop, I know that my board directors were very supportive and were beside me to ensure that we have the center well established. So there is a journey of four years for us and we have come today. And tonight, I won't speak too long to take much of your time because I think tonight we just have to sing and celebrate and to dance. Yes, uh, we thank the uh, DFAT for their continuing support in funding this project. And this is one of the top priority issue in Kiribati. We are top in the Pacific in domestic violence. So that's a very important uh, project. And we are very glad. Today we are here and we are very, we feel, we, we are very proud. And uh, I know that the, we are marking the success of the center. And I do have confidence in all the staff that they are there and the center, and Kifa. I don't know, what is the role of Kifa? 
This is the second year of phase two of the project. The first phase was only the development, putting all the plans and all ideas, putting it together through a lot of consultations with our key stakeholders. But we thank you for all the support that you have rendered to Kifa. We do not have any idea where to go. But with your contributions, you give us directions on what to do in order to make sure that we have a well-established center that will cater and to support a center that will be responsive to the needs of our GPV victims. So tonight we are very grateful that we are part of this very important process and very important development. And Kifa, maybe if we say the way forward, what is next? Kifa will remain on the monitoring team on the third year of the second phase. And we'll be there to give whatever we can to support and to be part of the monitoring team. We will remain affiliated to the centre and to provide whatever support we can. I know that our programmes in regard to sexual reproductive health and with all the partnership that we have developed in the different programs that we have with the island councils and traditional leaders, I did ask Teresa. This is one area where we have to work together. Don't try and establish a new system outside what we have already. It will be cost effective. And already we have started. We have started to work together and very closely with the island councils and traditional leaders to support the centre. And councils are working on their new bylaws to make sure. The bylaw is to ensure that all Maniape and Pass on the nine islands are declared shelters for GPV victims. And this is where we can continue to proceed and to work together to ensure that we save our women, we save our children. So, with this reward, I'd like to wish the center the best of luck. I do have confidence that they, they are all well trained with the support of the UN team, with the support of Fiji Crisis Women's Center, and we are very thankful for all the those support and I know that Executive Director, Ms. Teresa Dokam, will lead this organization and we should be able to serve the women and the children who are victims of GPV. So, with those words, I acknowledge all those present tonight Thank you for coming in to join us tonight to celebrate. Tonight we host at this Kifa and the center to host this very, very special occasion. And we do hope that you will enjoy it. Let's dance and let's sing and enjoy the rest of the night to celebrate the success of the center. The success of the center is also the success of Kifa. So thank you everyone for tonight and uh, we hope that in future, because after the third year, I'm not so sure. But I know that we do have our, the commitment of our development partners. So New Zealand, Australia, please render your support in this area because this is really is a top priority issue in Kiribati. And we would like to see that in future, the problem will we'll try. We might not be able to eliminate it all completely, but we might be able to reduce and be able to support our women and our girls. Thank you very much. Let's dance together. Thank you. Thank you.